Now, do cats really have nine lives? Well, after some of the moggies I've seen over the years, yes, including you, you could convince me the answer is yes. And even though they might be as tough as nails, they still need plenty of TLC just to keep things purring along. Or meowing. So, what are the cat commandments? Kittens are soft and fragile and survive best if they can stay with their mum for at least six weeks. Make sure they have a warm and secure place to sleep and lots of toys to keep them entertained. Now, to de-sex or not to de-sex, it's an incredibly hard question, especially when you see how cute these little guys are. But did you realise that in just seven years, one female cat and her offspring can produce thousands of kittens. I like you guys, but I couldn't handle thousands of you. Desexing is a must, as sadly, every year around Australia, over 30,000 cats have to be put down because they're neglected or abandoned. It's a simple 10-minute operation for male cats, about 30 minutes for females. It means they're sterile, they can't breed, and hopefully there'll be no more unwanted cats. In fact, you could say desexing reassigns your cat's priorities from being the neighbourhood Casanova to being a more calm and caring house cat. We all know that cat's claws can be weapons of mass destruction. And from a very young age, cats love to scratch. Scratching is a natural behaviour to keep their claws in good condition and to mark their territory by leaving the scent from their paws. So you're probably not going to be able to stop cats from scratching, but you can compromise. One of these, or better still, a couple of them, could prevent your furniture being torn to shreds. Cats consider themselves their own personal stylists. In fact, it's fair to say that cats are devoted self-groomers. But they still need brushing. The longer the hair, the more grooming required, mainly to get rid of knots that can be painful and uncomfortable, and more importantly, to help prevent fur balls. If fur balls are interfering with digestion or causing constipation, try specially designed foods that should help ease the problem. Finally, be aware pets are great actors, instinctively hiding any signs of sickness. If your pet stops eating, sleeps more than it usually does, or lacks energy, if it stops grooming itself, or if it eats more grass than usual, something could be up. So check with your vet. So OK, these little guys may not have nine lives, but with a few simple steps, you can make sure your cat's one life is a happy and healthy one. Now, it's a well-known fact that cats don't like water. So can you still bath them? Well, yes, you can, but the trick is you have to start them young. First, make sure the water is warm, but not hot. Just as you would with a baby, test it on yourself first. For cats, a quick bath is most certainly a good bath. The key is don't make the water too deep, just enough to cover the feet. That way, they won't lose confidence or get freaked out and try to swim to safety. Make sure water doesn't get into your cat's ears, as this can all too easily lead to infection. If you do have a cat like Sophie that, well, doesn't love the whole idea, maybe a warm sponge might be a better option. And of course, treats and cuddles will make the whole experience a lot more pleasurable for you and your wet mate. Now, let's face it, most of us don't like visiting the dentist, but regular checkups ensure a happy and a healthy smile, and it's the same for our feline friends. An incredible 85% of cats over three have some form of periodontal disease. So it's best to start good dental care young to keep an eye on what's going on in there. Now, checking those teeth doesn't have to be a nightmare. In fact, there's a bit of a trick to it. Simply slide those gums back and you'll see those molar teeth. And this is where the bacteria get in. On that gum line, they'll attack in there, causing infection, pain, bleeding, and that awful, awful bad breath. Regular brushing is also a great way to keep pussy smile pearly white. You can get animal friendly toothpastes from your local vet. So there you go, Harper. With regular dental care, you too will be grinning like the Cheshire cat. Now, I've often come across places saying dogs not allowed, but nowhere is this more strongly enforced than here at the cat clinic. 
This is Melbourne's newest cat-only clinic. From labs, ultrasounds, endoscopes, x-rays and boarding facilities, everything's designed just for cats. Now Richard, the obvious question is, why just cats? Why not? It's, it makes perfect sense. Uh, you have a horse practice, you have a cow practice. Yeah, why can't you have a cat practice? With more than 20 patients a day lining up for Richard's cat-focused opinion, there's no time to pussyfoot around. Okay. And he's an old timer, obviously, we've got to look at him. He's getting on there at 16. Yeah. But like a lot of old cats now, he's starting to get a couple of, couple of issues. Sticky has a few problems. Already diagnosed with thyroid disease, kidney problems and feline AIDS, his owners are now concerned about his sudden weight loss and difficulty walking. It's going to be a full vet check for this old bloke. So urine, bloods, x-rays? X-rays, absolutely. That should sort him out? That should sort him out and we'll probably also check his blood pressure. OK. A urine test will give a good indication of the severity of Sticky's kidney function. The glucose looks fine. No blood in there. pH, fairly mid-range, but protein. Gee, that's high, isn't it? That's pretty high. So instead of his kidneys I guess sieving out that protein from his blood, it's just flowing straight through. Flowing straight out and that could be a reason for his weight loss because mm. he's peeing out all his nutrition really, so. Yeah. But now it's time to get to the bottom of why he's having so much trouble walking. Aside from the radiation, this is probably the best uh, anti-cat scratch protection you're going to get, isn't it? That really shouldn't be there, should it? No, that's, that's some pretty, uh, pretty severe degenerative changes in his spine there. It's going to be causing him a fair bit of pain and it's probably the thing that's accounting for the weakness and him unable to jump. I think once we get him onto some uh, good uh, anti-inflammatories or pain relief, uh, his mobility will increase a lot. And that's really important to the owners is the quality of life. For Richard, there's no time for cat naps. An emergency case is rushed through the door with one very distressed owner. He didn't really eat his breakfast no. and his breathing's pretty erratic. How old's Barnaby? Barnaby's uh, 20. 20 years old? 20. Yeah, pretty cool, huh? Barnaby has been coming to the clinic for more than three years. And at 20, this old fellow certainly is battling with a truckload of problems. With a rare inoperable eye tumour, overactive thyroid, kidney disease, high blood pressure, heart failure, arthritis and a benign change to one of his kidneys, this cat has certainly used up most of his nine lives. So what we're going to do is probably just give him some oxygen and uh, give him some more of those little drugs. Okay. And uh, once he's settled down a little bit, then we'll, uh, we'll give him we'll do an ultrasound on his heart. OK? Bev has had Barnaby since he was a kitten and doesn't want this moment to be their last. Do you think age is catching up with him? Oh, look, I'm, I'm not stupid. I know that um, uh, every day is a bonus. Yeah, and I, I seriously mean that. While the oxygen has temporarily eased Barnaby's breathing, an ultrasound will show Richard what's going on inside. The news isn't good. OK, so this is his heart here. This is the left side and this is the right side. And these chambers are a lot bigger than they should be. And this is fluid, this black area? All that black mm -hmm. is fluid around his heart and around his lungs, mm -hmm. which is the reason he's in trouble. Yeah. Beverly can't take her best mate home tonight. To stabilise his breathing, Richard needs to remove some of that fluid from his chest. It's all right, mate. It's OK. OK? OK. I'll be right here, OK? Barnaby did make it home the next day, but sadly passed away peacefully one month later. <laughs>